Right, in this video we're going to uh, solve the very, very basic equations. We've got five examples here. Solve the following equations for x. x plus 5 is equal to 16. 5 minus x is equal to 14. 4x is equal to 24. x divided by 5 is 9. 4 divided by x is equal to 3. Right, so we've got x plus 5 is equal to 16. Now we've got to remember about equations. It's solving equations about two things. It's about balance, so whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other, and opposite. So the opposite of adding is subtraction, the opposite of subtraction is adding, and the opposite of uh, multiplying is dividing, and the opposite of dividing is multiplying. Right, so here we've got plus 5, so the opposite of uh, adding 5 is to take 5 from both sides. If I take 5 from this side, I get x. And if I take 5 from 16, this side, we get 11. We can do that because we got the same, uh, we've done the same thing to both sides, and we've done the opposite of adding 5. Notice that my equals signs are in a column, one underneath the other. B. Now, oh, sorry, we should just do a little check first, so you can check back in the original equation. So we put 11 instead of x, we get 11 plus 5, which is equal to 16. Correct. B. 5 minus x is equal to 14. So, we must do the same thing to both sides. So the opposite of plus 5, that's what we've got here, is actually to take 5. This is not the only way to do this problem. But if we do that, then on this side, we still have a minus x left because there's a minus sign in front of the x. And if we take 5 from 14, we get 9. We've got minus x is equal to, to 9. So if we multiply both sides by minus 1, minus 1 times minus x gives me x. And then minus 1 times 9 gives me minus 9. If we check, 5 minus minus 9, because it's 5 minus whatever x is. So minus minus means a plus, so 5 plus 9, and I get 14. That's what I expected to get. So that's the answer. 4x, 4 times x is equal to 24. What's the opposite of multiplying? is dividing. So dividing both sides by 4. So we divide 4x divided by 4, you get x. And then divide 24 by 4, you get 6. x is equal to 6. We do a check. And we very easily can see that 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Correct. D. x divided by 5 is equal to 9. So here we're dividing by 5. The opposite of dividing by 5 is to multiply by 5. So if we multiply this side by 5, we're just going to get x. And if we multiply this side by 5, 9 times 5 gives me 45. The check, 45 divided by 5, as x is 45. 5 into 49 goes 9. That is correct. And then finally, 4 divided by x is equal to 3. Now what makes this difficult is that the x is in the denominator. So to avoid that, if we multiply both sides by x, this side will just get 4, and this side will get 3x. That's very now similar to that equation up here. So dividing both sides by 3, so we get x is equal to 4 over 3, and it's okay to leave this as an improper number, or 1 and 1 third. Doing the check, a little bit more difficult, 4 divided by 4 over 3, which we write with 4 divided by 4 over 3. When we're dividing by fractions, we change that to a multiplication sign and take the reciprocal or invert the fraction. The 4s will cancel out and I will get a 3, which is what I wanted. Okay, so this has been a video for the introduction of solving very simple equations. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.